All right, class, let's talk about some oral glucose, uh, this little little Madmedics guide here. Um, again, 15 grams real quick. That's what we're after, okay? And we're going to talk about when to use oral glucose, uh, when not to use oral glucose, um, and, and it's kind of really important about that. Uh, again, so glucose, glucose, and again, it's used to treat a hypoglycemia, low blood sugars, and when the person does have an intact gag reflex. It is, it is sugar. It is pure sugar, okay? It, it is great stuff, okay? It brings up, and it's the type of sugar, by the way, it's a monosaccharide. So it's the type of sugar that easily absorbs into the bloodstream and then almost immediately provides instant energy. It doesn't have to be processed to be broken down any further, okay? And the idea is, is it elevates blood glucose levels. Now, again, if I go back to this picture right here, again, this is the standard tube that you're probably going to see on an ambulance. But you might also see some gels in there as well. Um, be looking around, by the way, at a diabetic's house to see if they've got any of those. Uh, yeah, and then they, they've got different flavors, by the way. they got grape. they got orange. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, again, so uh, these, are, by the way, are your tablets. Um, usually on the ambulances, we don't carry the tablets. Usually a diabetic will carry the tablets so that... Um, they, if they start feeling their blood sugar go down, they'll start, they'll eat four of them, which these are four gram tablets usually. Um, but like I said, uh, the, the onset is almost immediate. Okay. And in the effect in the duration kind of varies on the patient and how fast they absorb it. Um, uh, but usually 15 grams is enough to get the patient out of trouble. Um, it, it will bring up their sugar enough where they can get further carbohydrates in their system. Uh, but again, these are fast acting, and that's why we like them a lot. Okay, uh, it is conscious patients with altered mentation uh, due to suspected hypoglycemia. Now, understand the difference between altered mentation and unable to take it themselves. Okay, you can still be kind of semi groggy and still have your own gag reflex. So, again, if they can give it to themselves and you don't think that they will aspirate, it's a great drug. Uh, you can get a little nausea vomiting. I can tell you guys uh, it, the ingredients in there. They can sometimes uh, they can sometimes have a reaction to that. Um, I, I've never seen one, um, but I will tell you this though: uh, th that right there, fruit punch, my foot. Um, uh, it, it's like fruit punch, and in, in, there is no way the, whoever designed that flavor. Uh, uh. So when do we not use it? Okay. And this is the important part, and and boy, and I've gone round and round with some diabetic educators on this one. Uh, the absence of the gag reflex. Again, if they don't have a gag, or they have a decreased level of consciousness where they can't protect their own airway, do not throw a tube of oral glucose in their mouth. Don't squeeze it in their mouth. It, it is you are going to have goo in an unprotected airway. Okay. Again, if they're at nausea and vomiting. Uh, it's going to be really hard for them to absorb it if they're throwing it back up, okay? So if they're throwing up, if they got nausea, you probably should stay away from it. Now, the good news is that it doesn't interact with any drugs. That That's, again, the good news. And, uh, again, the patient must have an intact gag reflex. And, guys, remember that the effects of this is temporary, okay? So they need to eat something after this once you get the blood sugar up to a safe level. To where they can, uh, well, it's carbohydrates in it. Some breads, pasta, cereal, peanut butter sandwich is great, okay? To assure that the blood sugar doesn't drop again, okay? Now, so how it's usually, uh, they have the bottles and they, they, they have the bottle for the, the glucose tolerance test. Uh, and if you've ever done that, that's how they test you for diabetes. Uh, you come in, they take your sugar, then you drink this, and then you get your blood sugar, you get your blood drawn every every two hours or four hours, depending on how long the test is. And then uh, they will tell you whether or not you're a diabetic or not. Uh, again, um, I, I can tell you that when I did mine, I had a starting out blood sugar of 280. After I drank this, it went up to 1440. So there's a lot of glucose in that bottle. Uh, again, and by the way, this is something I did find. I had never seen a, a 45, uh, but this has got three doses of the, this is 45 grams of oral glucose. But we usually get it in the 15-gram uh, tube, okay? Uh, they might also sell some 10-gram tubes that you might see out there. 
Uh, again, you got to make sure what you're given, okay? Usually 15 grams is what we use to treat the patient, okay? Yeah, by the way, so the people that did the flavors, the orange isn't half bad. But I will tell you that the lemon, the grape, and the fruit punch, they've never tasted any of those flavors in their life. Because there is absolutely no way. Uh, the lemon is barely tolerable. The grape, you got to be kidding me. The fruit punch, eh. Okay, don't do it, all right? So, again, uh, you got some more of that old glucose for us. Uh, so, again, um, the adult dose is 12.5 to 30 grams. Uh, now, when they say buccal, um, the inside of the cheek or the gum is where you can rub it on. It will absorb through those membranes. Uh, it does go a little bit faster if you do that. Uh, the problem with that is, of course, you're leaving it up there where the airway where it can cause problems, okay? So be careful when you do that. Now, it also says in the EMT book, oh, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. But it says in the EMT book, and I quote, you know, you can actually take a tongue depressor, put it on the tongue depressor, and then rub it on the cheeks. Again, you're putting goo in an unstable airway. Um, the ar counter argument for that is, is at least it gets into their bloodstream enough where they can wake up. It has a merit. You just have to be extremely cautious when you do it, okay? You just have to be extremely cautious. So the route is, again, buccal or oral, right? They're going to swallow it or they're going to have it absorb through the cheek area. It is possible. For, and, it, and by the way, the oral glucose, it will absorb through those membranes, okay? So uh, only in the mouth, though. We don't put it in any other type of membrane because it could cause problems. All right, that's going to do it for oral glucose, and I'll see you guys on the next one.